Girls. Welcome to another lesson with Kumalo M, the Geography Sangoma. So today, grade 12, we are going to look at mining in South Africa. I hope that you have uh, enjoyed lesson 1, lesson 2, up to lesson 4. This is lesson 5. So grade 12, what we are going to be looking at here, as I've said, is mining. As you can see that picture that I've given you there, the grade 12 mining in economic geography. Now, before I can go any further, grade 12s, I want to start with outlining this topic in your exam guideline and what you should uh, be able to do after this lesson and what is required uh, for the National Senior Certificate Examination, the trial and, and your final exam. Now, grade 12s, uh, you have to understand the contribution of mining to the South African economy and be able to understand the significance, which is the importance of mining to the development of South Africa. You have to also understand, you have to understand that you are going to be given case studies of one of these South African main minerals produced as uh, we are going to uh, see and, and understand which type of mineral are we going to study this year. So, according to the examination guideline, you can see grade 12 there, it says that in November 2023, you will write about uh, platinum. So, this year, our mineral that we look at, it is platinum. So, we are studying platinum, we are doing platinum in grade 12. Then you have to understand things like Things like the location of minerals uh, studied on a map, identification and interpretation, uh, and apply factors that favor and factors that hinder mining in South Africa to the main minerals above. And then lastly, you have to understand the contribution of prescribed minerals to the South African economy. Now, these are the terms or concepts that I want you to have in mind. Concept of balance of trade that you have done last year in grade 11 under development. Balance of trade where we are talking about the difference in the value between the visible imports and exports. So, balance of trade, we look at the imports and the exports. Now, what are exports? Exports, those are goods and services that are sold to foreign countries. So we are selling goods. When we take goods from our country and sell them outside the country, we say we are doing what we are exporting. Then we have favorable trade balance, which you did in grade 11, which is positive trade balance. It occurs when now our value of exports is greater than the value of imports. And then we've got the concept of foreign exchange, that is the money paid to South Africa by other countries in exchange for goods and services, money earned by South Africa. So this is the money that we get as a result of selling these goods outside the country. Then we have imports. Imports uh, are goods and services that are bought from foreign countries. So you can see that the uh, Import is an, is a, an opposite of export. So in exports, we are selling to other countries and then we gain foreign currency and money from their countries. And then imports, we are buying from those countries. So we pay to get those goods, to buy certain goods as um, imports. And, but exports, we are, uh, we are selling outside the country. And then I want you to understand the concept of open cast mining. It is a surface mining technique that extracts minerals from an open pit in the ground. And then I want you to also know ab about semi-skilled worker, a worker who does not, uh, who does routine tasks, simple tasks that are done on a regular basis. Someone who is not skilled or trained to do a specialized work. So that is a semi-skilled worker. While a, a skilled worker is a worker who is is a worker who has a specific set of skills or specialized knowledge that has usually been obtained through a formal training. So this one has gone to university or has gone to a college to, to get skills or to get training on the job that the, the person is doing. But as semi-skilled, they are not trained. Then we look at shaft mining. Shaft mining, then it's an access accessing of ground minerals through an open um 
through an open called a shaft an opening that is called a shaft so it's another type of mining then we've got trade trade is an exchange of goods and services for money as we can see there now come as just always uh, we are talking about mining there are two words that you have just uh, learned there on the terminology screen 12 which is open cast mining and shaft mining so open cast mining is a surface mining technique that extracts minerals from an open pit in the ground but when you, you can see there in the picture that i've given you there is no uh, 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 um, infrastructure like uh, uh, those, those um uh, 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 working those um those uh, 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 structures that are found there in the shaft mining so open cast mining is a surface mining technique that extracts minerals from an open pit so it's an open pit it's like a hole that they just mine from but a shaft mining it's an access of underground minerals through a vertical opening called a shaft so that that is a shaft so you can see the difference the shaft is there here is just a, 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 a they're just digging the uh, that's why they call it an open cast mining moving on grade 12 we have to also understand the contribution of mining to the south african economy how does mining contribute to our economy now the discoverer of god started in they started the mining industry so it, it contributes with what the mineral resources mining is contributing to the gdp remember we talked about the gdp which is the gross domestic product because mining companies pay taxes to south africa and then taxes from mines stimulate the economic growth and development of south africa so the, those mines they also pay tax to the government so taxes from the mine they make our country to grow we get more money and also remember where there is a mine there will be infrastructural development and changes then and then people will also get jobs then contributing to the Johannesburg stock exchange and also mining funded the development of infrastructure in south africa mining contributes to job creation so there will be jobs that are created when a mine is open that is one thing i believe that we all understand then the, the multiplier effect that leads to the development of other industries people are able to work and when the people work they will earn money and they'll be able to buy uh, whatsoever that have been produced by the, 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 the mineral resources or whatsoever so the people will, will gain what you, what is called a buying power so the, the, that's what we talk about when we talk about the multiplier effect <coughs> Now, citizens have have, a, have developed in South Africa because of mining. More investors will invest in South Africa as a result of exports of raw materials or minerals. Then we will earn foreign income from exports of the minerals and contribute to the socio-economic development of a country. So it will address social and economic uh, problems that we have and tend to develop our country both socially and economically then moving on grade 12 we look at factors that favor mining we have a var in south africa we have a variety of minerals of minerals that means we've got different types of mineral here in south africa so that is a factor that favors it's a positive thing it's something that promotes or that uh, 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 promotes mining in south africa it's it's because we have a variety of minerals then the large mineral reserve we've got large mineral reserve we've got large labor supplies we've got people who can work in those mines and then we've got efficient transport network yes we've got different types of transport networks such as our roads our railway our harbor uh, uh, which is water transport then low geothermal gradient which which allows us to mine at further depth so we can go deep 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 uh, to mine our minerals significant it's important amount of minerals are closer to the surface so most of the surface we don't have to go deeper deeper they are just close to the surface so it's one of the factors that favor mining and then we've got efficient electricity supply yes i know some of you will be asking me uh, mr kumalo 
why do you talk about efficient electricity while we're experiencing uh, load shedding but currently in our caps uh, uh, curriculum we still say that south africa has sufficient electricity because we have a supply of coal so it has not been published the thing of load shedding but then for now we stick into what we are supposed to do according to the caps document now markets and domestic international are available we've got markets in the country which means domestic within the country's borders and we've got markets outside the country they are available so it also favors uh, mining factors that uh, hinder mining so this these are factors that make mining to be difficult or to produce and uh, not to or not to produce as uh, we expect mining to produce it's because of fluctuating prices fluctuating prices also mean the increasing the regularly increasing prices or prices are increasing we've got the large distance between mines and harbors so the distance between where we are going to uh, where we take our mine uh, our minerals to after mining them it is the distance is very uh, a, a, a big so we are going to have high transport costs then and then there is increased labor cost so the more they get people to work and then the more it's the more that they have it's more it's the more they have to pay those people and then you know things like labor strikes it uh, decreases the prof the productivity also the non-renewable minerals are also one of um the factors that hinders because non-renewable those are minerals that uh, when the, they get finished or they get depleted and then we will end up not getting those minerals mining accidents so when there is an accident maybe they said people are trapped underground then some people die or some people get sick it also hinders uh, the productivity of mines in south africa then we talk about water shortages it also uh, affects because these processes they also require uh, uh, water uh, to take place the mining processes so that simple means that um once we have a shortage of water then it's going to hinder our mining the our mining sector there in south africa then now we look at the importance of mining to the development of south africa we still talk about uh, it's more of those factors that favor mine in favor mining now discover of minerals contributed to the mining industry in south africa leading to minerals established uh, the minerals they established what we call the jse which is the johannesburg stock exchange in south africa then minerals contributed rapidly to urbanization in south africa and then this led to development of secondary and tertiary sectors as well as the infrastructure development so that is what the the, the, the major importance or the role uh, mining plays in our country is that it gives us more minerals that we are able to export and those minerals they led to a, 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 what we call an establishment of a facility a working institutions like the JSE, the stock exchange, now where they deal with different currencies, their trading and whatsoever. And then it also led to secondary sector, the processing, because once we, we, we get materials, the raw materials, they're in a raw material state, so they have to be processed. And that is the secondary sector. And then tertiary, that is where now they'll render services and, and they'll render services and selling of those goods and the like then the impact of mining on the environment so now mining can have a negative impact on the environment because it can cause vegetation to be removed which will increase soil erosion so when they are going to open the mine they will have to remove vegetation and that causes soil erosion the natural habitat and the ecosystems are disrupted as a result so those animals that stay there as they start to to open a mine those animals will have to run away and then they will not have a natural uh, habitat where they can stay the environment is degraded which means it is polluted so there is more pollution in that area chemicals in water pollute water resources and underground so we have once had we have heard several times that they say there is water contamination as the mining um, companies they release their waste in the rivers then the river becomes contaminated it becomes toxic you cannot drink it because it will be mixed with the chemicals that they were using during the mining of these um 
minerals then it causes a pollution that can use acid rain now it causes also pollution and then those that pollution or acid rain is going to also cause what we call sinkholes within an area so that that is an impact of mining on the environment so you have to read the question with understanding grade 12 when they say the impact of mining on the environment so then you'll be able to explain uh, properly uh, and focus on the environment then you have to also look uh, uh, understand the location of platinum mines in south africa now if you check uh, look at the, the the key there that is a symbol for platinum so let's check where this symbol is we can see that this symbol is in as uh, three mines platinum mines there in Pulukwane, and then we've got one mine near not the uh, what we call this near nail spray but it's not exactly a near nail spray there so those are that is where we find our uh, platinum mines in South Africa. You can also watch on my YouTube channel. There is a video uh, of back of back 2012 or 2014 when they were establishing a mine in Nelspruit. And then you must be able to to identify or locate these platinum mines on what on a South African map. Then you in your examination scriptures because we are preparing you for examination. So in your examination scriptures, you are going to get what we call these types of diagrams. So these that types of diagram will come as a they will use these diagrams like this to ask you questions. How much contribution uh, was made from the uh, tertiary sector? So you have to look at all these. Uh, 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 but again, these uh, 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 activities that are happening here and classify which ones are under tertiary sector and then you give answers. This is just an example. But now, you, you'll be working with statistics and showing how mining has contributed, the primary sector has contributed or any sector, uh, how it has contributed. That's it for this lesson. Thank you so much. Don't forget create grade 12. Share the link with your uh, your classmates or your fellow friends who are doing geography in Gauteng or any province. And don't forget to like and subscribe my uh, in my channel. Till I meet you in the next lesson. Bye bye.